Welcome back. Now, I did find out you can actually respecialize your abilities, and I did so for Travian. I gave him one new offensive capability instead of a tanking one. Now, over here, we have an item to pick up, so I will pick it up. There we go. A map to a waterfall. Okay, so we have a treasure behind three waterfalls and by a bridge, too. Oh, hey there, buddy. How's it going? Looks like you've been hanging around. Anyway, let's go over here now. We have a creepy school to look at, too. Now, I'll take out the Templars in just a moment. Oh, hello. I don't like it. The skull illuminates certain objects in the distance. I am not familiar with such magic. Of course, it had to be a skull that lights up creepy shit. It is pretty creepy, yeah. It has a very Indiana Jones vibe to it. Alright, now we can go over here. As I was saying, though, when I take out the Templars, I'll probably visit the Horsemaster and then move on to Haven. Now, I will finish the area one day. Not today, though, and I'll tell you why. I found out not every area is able to be completed when you first go there. Now, I'm too low of a level to go to certain parts of the map here. Because of that, I would rather come back later when I'm a higher level and I can fight that dragon and whatever else might be here. So I will be back, but for now, I would like to continue the main storyline. We're still early on in the story, and not only that, I want to meet new companions and have them join me. Hello. I'll take that. Templar encampment on the western road. Well, we are there now. And who do we have over here? Oh, look at you. Come visit. Come on. Alright, we're gonna take him out now. Oh, he's frozen. Okay, good. Now, whenever my foe is frozen, I can use my shield bash or whatever to actually shatter him, and that does a high amount of damage. Alright, Travian, go fight over here. Yeah, Cassandra, go fight over here. And you two will focus on that guy right here, that defender. We'll take him out and then take out other archers. There we go. Oh, he's done for. <laughs> Frozen again. Okay, hold on. Solus, I want you to... Well, wait for now. Alright, now freeze him again. Done. Okay. Now that he's dead, we can move over here. There we go. How's it going, team? There's a barrier for Travian, that way he won't take more damage. Not so bad so far. Oh, will freeze that archer too. No, he's done for. Okay, back to Travian. And now we can loot our enemies. I'll take that. Now, what other loot do we have? Oh yeah, quite a bit more. Good. There we are again. Now, I did inquire of all of you. Who would you want to be and why in the world of Dragon Age? And... I got quite a few fun answers, and I really did enjoy that, so thank you. Who would I be? Hmm, I'm not really too sure. Maybe the guy who dies while trying to join the Grey Wardens, I'll, you know, do their tests and die. Done. There ends my story. <laughs> a broken bridge. Alright, here we have a bridge, four statues, and a waterfall nearby, right? Yep. Okay. We'll check it out after I kill a few more Templars, but right now I'm busy. Alright, here we go. We'll find him first. Now, one thing that I really enjoy about the world of Dragon Age, it's a very dirty world, you know. It's very dirty. I mean, there is no clear good guy or bad guy. Unless you're talking about Darkspawn. That's pretty bad. But, I mean, in the lore for the Chantry, for the Templars, for the Magi, there's bad people and there's good people. Much like in the real world. Not everyone would be so white and black in terms of their morality. Ooh, we took a lot of damage here. Watch out, Barry. Alright, Cassandra, go after that guy just a moment here. And I'll finish off the current defender. Yeah, we took way too much damage. That was my fault. That's what happens when I try to, you know, extrapolate my ideas while fighting. It doesn't go very well. I should probably save that for whenever I'm traveling. Alright, more loot for me. Over here, too. Very good. Oh. And more things that now belong to me. Okay, everyone heal up. One potion for you. And one for you. Alright, Travian, let's go now. We're coming up to the Templar encampment. I'll be more careful once we're there. We'll take one down at a time. Not having my taunt actually does dynamically change up how I can fight. I'm not sure if I like it yet. I can do a lot more damage, but it's harder to control each fight. 
<laughs> oh, man, you're having a bad day. But now your bad day's over because I killed you. Hold on, hold on. Travian, fight that knight. Cassandra. I mean, if you want to go fight that archer. All right. <laughs> Actually, come over here and fight that knight. Alright, Travian, I'll play as you. Let's begin. Right, we'll knock him down. Now, I want to chain that archer on that hill. Hold on. There we are. Come down. Okay, now he won't be able to attack us from a higher elevation. One dead. One more to go. Come here. Alright. Now he's dead too. When I look at the mini-map, I have one foe to the right and a group to the left. What should I do about that? Okay, what about if I go around the palisade? There we are, yeah. I'll go right over here and now we can fight that one knight. Come here. You and me, buddy. We're gonna have a great time. Okay, I have to shatter him. Oh, hold on. Cassandra, go over here and take on that entire party if you can. Alright, Souls, I want you to put down an ice rune. Oh, you can't now. Great. Ugh. I need more traps. Shatter, he's nearly dead, and he's an elite unit, too. I mean, look at him. Very tough. What about Cassandra? Over 400 damage. Wow. Now that is incredible. Alright, one elite Templar killed. Okay, we'll focus on who? That guy? Yeah, him. Attack my target. Get up, come on, get up. And now you're dead. Whoa. Did he go off the cliff? I believe he did, or did he not? Hold on. Okay, good, he didn't. I want all of my loot, so I mean, if he falls off, I would have liked that. Like that guy, yeah. <laughs> oh well. Alright, they're all dead now. Refugees should be safer on the King's Road now. Oh, a very good blade. I'll take that. Cassandra is my main tank. I'm more of an off tank, though I have no tanking capabilities now. I might change that in the future, but for now, eh. It's okay. Alright, more loot over here, and... Oh, look at that, a pathway. That might lead to that hidden item. Yeah, we'll go over here and pick it up, and then head back into the encampment, and take more. Take more loot. Here we are. There we go. Iron bark. I believe that's a crafting material. Alright, now what do we have happening today? Another bit of loot for me. Now, I'll pick up what might be left, and as I said, I'll head over to the Horse Master next. And there we are again. And then one more. Okay, now I'll equip my allies with their new loot later. I won't do it right now. If I stop to do it every time I get new loot, we won't get anything done. So if you wonder why, like, hey, why are you not using that? Oh, hello. Could I not pick that up? <laughs> Probably not. Oh, well. But I, as I was saying, anyway, if you wonder why I'm not equipping loot right now, just keep in mind, I'm aware of it, but I'm waiting. I'm waiting until I'm done doing what I need to do, and later, I'll do it. Alright, now what do we have over here? Not too much, only a broken bridge. The map is really huge, it really blows my mind how big each area is, and I wonder how many areas they have in the game right now. I'm Probably watching you, Varric, just so you know. <laughs> well, that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. What did I do now? <laughs> Nothing. Yet. Just keep it that way. A letter found on a dead body. Take it back, take it back, take it back. Dreams won't stop until you take it back to the Western Fortress. Now that is foreboding. Varric Tethrys, paragon of good behavior, at your service, Seeker. Now up here, we have another mission. I'm telling you, no matter what part of the map I go to, I can find new stuff to do. That to me is incredible. I like it. A letter found on the dead dwarf. I don't care how many demons and apostates are in that area. Okay, you lost the package. And now you're dead. Tragic. Alright. 
now we can head over here and try to anyway. That's what we're trying to do. There's a camp nearby. Yeah, I remember there being a camp here. You can see it right over there, right? Yeah. Okay, we'll go set up camp and, you know, pick up that mission over to our right as well. Here we are. What do we have here? A letter in an empty home. Indrin, they're telling everyone to leave until the mages and Templars stop burning everything down. I saw the way the merchants were looking. Oh, hello. You're taking a project to a cave in the hills to the north. You know what? Whenever you write a correspondence and you want to leave it behind, your friend should probably burn it. Now I know where you're at, and I'll find you. I don't know what they're doing, but I want in. Right, here's another camp. We could make camp here. You know what? You're right. We probably could. Now we can go talk to the old horse master. Let's go do that right now. All right. Off we go over here. I wonder if he'll have cool things for me. Like, I don't know. A mount? Maybe gold? Maybe... I don't know. More soldiers to fight for my cause? Well, we'll find out in time. He lives over in that big home. Here's a little ranch that he this has. Must be Master Not a little ranch. A big ranch. Not a fancy looking one, but I'm sure it's enough to get by. Okay, man, I'm here to take your mounts. And I'm over. Something here. So you're the Inquisition, eh? Here you're trying to bring order back. It's high time someone did. Didn't expect it to be some free marcher's noble, though. Name's Dennett. I served Arl Eamon for 30 years as Horsemaster. I hear your Inquisition is looking for mounts. It is. Can you help us? Not at the moment. I can't just send a hundred of the finest horses in Ferelden down the road like you send a letter. Every bandit between here and Haven would be on them like flies on crap. You'll have mounts once I know they won't end up as a cold winter's breakfast. That sounds more than reasonable. Glad to hear it. My wife Elena manages the farms and Bron's in charge of my guards. They'll tell you what they need. Until then, you deserve something better than whatever knock-kneed plowneg they gave you. The chestnut over there is a purebred Ferelden forder. Take care of him, and he'll take care of you, Inquisition. What a really giving man. I mean, when you think about it, I came into his home going, Hey, I need what you have. And he said, Sure. Help me out, and I'll help you out. Oh. Thank you for the alcohol. <laughs> I appreciate that. What else do you have for me? Any other loot? Maybe. Where could it be? Where could it... Ah, hello. Book. Written by Varric. I don't want to read it now. And loot over here. A free march's banner. That's pretty nifty. Okay, we'll head on over to get my mount, then we'll head back to Haven. As I want to find out what's happening there, since I kind of, you know, destroyed the Templars and Mages and the Hinterlands. I did a great job of it, too. I mean, I killed them. I killed them hardcore, like. And it felt good. Alright, mount, you belong to me now. Hello. Oh, look at that. But yeah, I'll come here later, but not today. Off we go back to Haven. And, uh, traveling, we shall go. I wonder when I'll meet someone new. Maybe at Val Royale, I could meet someone new. And I'd be like, hey, would you like to join me? And maybe they'll join me, maybe not. Okay, we're about to be back, and we are now what? Nearly back? Now we're back. We'll go to the war room. Things aren't looking too different so far. Hmm. A lot of Mabari Hound statues. I wonder if I will get a, a Mabari Hound. That would be neat. Maybe. I'll name him Philip. Philip the Mabari Hound. And it's my birthday? Wow, a lot of people are here. Your kind killed the most holy. Lies. Your kind let her die. Shut your mouth, mate! Enough! Knight Captain! That is not my title. We are not Templars any longer. We are all part of the Inquisition. And what does that mean exactly? Back already, Chancellor. Haven't you done enough? I'm curious, Commander, as to how your Inquisition and its Herald will restore order as you've promised. Of course you are. 
Back to your duties, all of you. Well, things are getting heated here. Let's go have a chat then. All right, Colin, what are you up to, buddy? Mages and Templars were already at war. Now they're blaming each other for the Divine's death. Which is why we require a proper authority to guide them back to order. Who? You? Random clerics who weren't important enough to be at the Conclave. The Rebel Inquisition and its so-called Herald of Andraste? I think not. So far, you're the only one who's insisted we can't work together. We might, if your Inquisition would recognize the Chantra's authority. There is no authority until another Divine is chosen. In due time, Andraste will be our guide, not some dazed wanderer on a mountainside. I'll make sure they see reason in Val Royo. I pray you're right. Yeah, me too, bro. Okay, back into the Chantry. Hello, I'm back, and Mother Giselle is here. Oh, Mother Giselle, I love you. Well, that's pretty neat, but right now I need to talk to Josephine. I sure do. Always for you, Josephine. Yes, Ambassador? I'd like to discuss your parents. Well, that was quick. A little sudden, but it's time someone made an honest man of me. What? Very amusing. This is serious. I'd like to dispatch a courier asking the bands of House Trevelyan to align themselves with us. What are your thoughts? Should we approach your family for their formal support of the Inquisition? I mean, we could. But I believe we shall. If that's what you want, I'll send a letter to my family. They'll respect the request if it comes from me. Wonderful. That will save time. Valroyo has noted your lineage. It gives the Inquisition some legitimacy, although not so much as we'd hoped. Why not? You are from Ostwick. Our legion nobles consider the Free Marches somewhat... quaint. Oh, really? Well, that is interesting. Okay, let's see. What about... over here? Orlay has a proper empire. Free Marchers never unite until Darkspawn knock at their door. No one doubts their ferocity when it happens. Free marchers are renowned for their tenacity. Uh, speaking of which, I should thank you for your patience with the simple quarters. The accommodations in Haven are surely rough for someone of your birth. This can't be what you're accustomed to, Ambassador. One adjusts. I stay busy. It helps take my mind from our surroundings. And the cold. And the wildlife. And the lack of civilization for miles around. <laughs> Why anyone lived here before we found Andraste's ashes, I cannot imagine. <laughs> I like her. Don't worry about me. Haven's more than livable. Really? If that is how you feel, I'm pleased to hear it. Until next time, my lord. Yeah, I do enjoy her a lot. I don't know why, but she reminds me of Talia a little bit from Mass Effect. And over here, here's your research, and I'll before talk to anything, that please. mage now. Oh, level five, neat. You've brought back some fascinating things. We're putting them to good use. Damage bonus against humanoids. Very nice. I found some things for you. I found something the demons left behind. Can you use it? Yes, that's very helpful. Just leave it there and the Tranquil and I will examine it. Okay, now we can finally get to the war room and, you know, continue on with the main storyline. There we go. Here we are. Let's take a look at what comes next. Hmm, I wonder who I enjoy more, Josephine or Cassandra? I don't know yet. I can choose a perk. Let's see, tempered, blah, blah, blah. One more potion slot over here, I would get a bigger inventory capacity. Yes, thank you. Hmm. History knowledge, that wouldn't be too bad. But let's see, connections over here. Oh, these are pretty neat. What about over here for secrets? Uh, let's see, optimal cutting, eagle-eyed. No, no, no. I mean, I could train up my soldiers. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Sure, why not? I'll get more XP on the long term. Alright, and for Reldon, what can I do right now? I have, what, 10 power? I'll spend 4 over here to scout the Storm Coast. Let's begin. For Reldon has not seen significant Grey Warden activity since Darkspawn attacked the city of Amrithian 
10 years ago. It's not unusual for their order to fade from public notice when there's no blight. However, recent reports claim that Agrippa was traveling along the northern coastline. Word is said to follow their own agenda, but the preachers no doubt caught their attention. If they know something, then the Inquisition should find out. Let's find out then. Begin and do that for me. Let's see. Sister Liliana. Lieutenant Harding led a small complement of soldiers to the Storm Coast region to investigate reports of Grey Warden activity. She sent word that her party had established a camp near the shore, but we have received nothing further. I better find her. I like her. I won't go there just yet, but I will go there in time. Let's see. Eight points over here. I don't have eight points now. What about in Orleus? I can go over here for four points. Let's see. The remaining Chantry clerics have declared the Inquisition heretical. Attempts to gather allies against the breach have been rebuffed, and at this moment we could not set foot into the capital without being attacked by a mob or arrested. We must convince the Chantry to permit us entry into the city so we could show them the Herald of Andrasse is not the monster they believe. Having the Herald address the clerics is not a terrible idea. You can't be serious. Mother Giselle isn't wrong. At the moment, the Chantry's only strength is that they are united in opinion. And we should ignore the danger to the Herald. Let's ask him. Well, you know what? I'm not worried. I'll do it. What can they do? It's just talk. Don't underestimate the power of their words. An angry mob will do you in just as quickly as a blade. I will go with him. Mother Giselle said she could provide us names. Use them. But why? This is nothing but a... What choice do we have, Liliana? Right now, we can't approach anyone for help with the breach. Use what influence we have to call the clerics together. Once they are ready, we will see this through. Well, thank you, Cassandra. Okay, we won't go there just yet, but later we will. And once we're back, we'll probably go check out the Grey Warden activity and then go towards the Chantry. I don't know yet, but we'll see. Anyway, I'll see all of you very soon.